Good morning, everybody. I hope you are doing so well on this Saturday morning. And the main purpose of this video is to teach you how I accomplished the garland on my mantle this year for Christmas. It is asymmetrical, it has a lot of volume, and it's turned out absolutely beautiful. And it was actually pretty easy to do. So if you are joining for that part in particular, I'm gonna leave it time stamped in the description box so you can skip straight to that section because that's the main purpose of this video. And if that's why you're watching, I want you to be able to get there quickly. But if you want to, we're also gonna hang out and just do a regular weekend vlog. So there are probably going to be lots of other decorating things happening within this video. I'm probably going to be setting up my hot cocoa station, all the things. So welcome, welcome, welcome. For the rest of my friends, you know what to expect. We're probably gonna cook, we're gonna clean, we might organize, who knows what we'll do. We do a little bit of everything here. I hope that you are all having a tremendously wonderful week um, and kicking off your weekend really well and with lots of rest and self-care. I am heading to Target because I do have to pick up coffee creamer because we're out. I also want to grab a couple things for Steven and then for his Christmas because I want to get ahead of it. And also I'm going to peruse their Christmas decorations last weekend and last weekend's vlog actually. I was able to find a couple things that they had began to set out. So now that they have a little bit more out probably, I just want to peruse, see what's there. I'm not looking for anything in particular, but it's a nice way to start a Saturday, a quiet stroll through Target, um, right when it opens, when nobody is really there yet. Um, I find it to be really relaxing. So that's what we're gonna do. I just got here, I'm pulling into the parking lot now, and I will catch up with you all in a little bit. So I am back from Target. I actually bought a couple more groceries in this, but I already put them away, but just some things I picked up. Um, <laughs> it looks so random. I had to get some more, uh, candy for my Halloween bags because our neighbors will be coming and I'm making each kid a treat bag. I'll show you what I put together for them every year. Every year it's a little different, but I do like the same idea. And then these are two of my favorite sweet treats. Um, this is by Goody Girl. I've only found them at Target, but they are like Thin Mints and they're gluten-free. And then I also splurged and got the Milk Bar Compost Cookies. They're so good. Not good for you, but delicious. And then I ended up picking up more of those houses just because I thought they were really, really cute. And I'd love to save them. I also have a couple other places upstairs I could use them, so there's that. And then I got this little conversion chart that I thought was really cute that I might lean up somewhere along the perimeter of the kitchen. And then a snow globe that says 2020 because I want to remember this year. I might like actually like write a little note and put it on the bottom of like everything that happened in 2020. Um, not that we will ever forget. And then I did get a cypress and pine candle. It smells really good. And it was reasonably priced. It was like $25. And I think um, I want to use this now prior to Christmas when I light my more expensive candles that I bought for the holidays. And then this was in the dollar section and it looks really good for the dollar section. It was five bucks. We'll see what it looks like when we get it up. I don't know where I'm going to hang it. And then these little cute trees I've been looking at online and they actually had them. Do you approve? Hey, do you approve of all this stuff? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, I like that too. I approve of it all. I love you so much. He's the best doggy. Oh, I also bought a hat, but it's in the trunk. Let me go grab it. I recently bought myself a long, really high quality black wool coat, um, and it's like an oversized coat. It's really cute. Um, it's supposed to come this week. Um, and I wanted to get like a flat brimmed hat and I found one. I am not a hat person. I don't wear hats often, but I really, really like this one. I really like it. So I got this. And now you can see my hat hair. I'm a baseball cap person. I love a baseball cap, wear them all weekend. This is the garland that I'm gonna teach you how to make today. It is absolutely stunning. And where we are going to be putting that is in our entryway. So right here on this table is where that garland is gonna go. And it is going to 
uh, sweep down here and come up just a little bit and then swoop and then get really big and come down that side. It's literally going to be that. So, Alexa, turn on tree. Great. All right, I'm gonna start getting this stuff kind of put away and then we will catch up. All right, I am prepping for our neighborhood trick-or-treat event. I think at 4.30, they're doing a pizza party at one of the houses. Um, and I'm just prepping bags for each of the kiddos. They're, I'm doing 15, I think that's enough. I just texted my neighbor Hillary and was like, I'm so anxious 15 isn't going to be enough. I might have to go out and buy more stuff, but I won't be able to find some of these things, but I think I bought some extra. So these are the things I'm putting in the bags. So these hysterical Frankenstein fingers, um, a bunch of like different stickers, some slime, little eyeballs, these finger skateboards, bats, spider rings, glow sticks, pencils, and then I also have um, full-size candy bars, Reese's peanut butter cups, and Kit Kats. So that's gonna go into each little bag. All right, so I finished the little treat bags. I am gonna scatter some of the leftover stuff down the center of it, um, and someone can take something extra if they want. So, really, really cute. I'm really happy with them. We are about to dive in to making our asymmetrical, beautiful garland. The garland that I have fallen in love with this year is the directional garland from Grandin Road. I just unboxed these two. I used two for the fireplace mantle, which that's exactly what we're going to be making. And what makes this directional is all of the needles are going one direction. So you have the wire hooks here. And then what's nice is then at these ends, it's just empty. So like all of them will like fall really nicely that way. So this is the garland we're going to be working with. We're going to have a lot of fun. The way I attach my garland is I use florist wire and I use finishing nails. This, as you will see, there's like all sorts of randomness. This is literally like my little junk drawer of tools and nails and I just carry that little thing around the house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap in some finishing nails. I know I'm gonna need like one here and I'm gonna go in this crevice a little bit. I've never tapped in this table. I am a little nervous about it. And then I know if it hangs down, I'll need one a little right of center. And then I'll need probably two because it's gonna be so weighty on this side of the garland. So, and he just came back from a walk and he's very happy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap in those four nails and then I'm going to show you how I put the florist wire on those. My suggestion is to go really big with your um, florist wire and I have it opened you really can't see, but there's a piece here and piece here, and I have it wrapped around the nail, and I laid them really wide open. Maybe I can capture it here, you can see it. So I can just set the garland right down into it, and then tie it around. I can always trim the excess wire off, but go extra long, because it disappears in the garland, and it just makes it a lot easier. All right, I'm gonna start laying this in and getting the first piece down. Um, that's easy, we're just gonna go kind of right across with a little bit of a drape, and then I'll show you how we're gonna connect this second piece to get that big asymmetrical look. All right, so I know it looks weird right now, um, but we have these pieces, and then nothing is fluffed yet, so it's not like evenly distributed. So I have just a little bit of a tail hanging here. I really didn't want you to see it, so it's perfect. Um, and then we have the one swoop, and now this is gonna come up, get very large, and then go to the floor. The way we're going to do that piece now is we are going to fold this garland, not quite in half, because we want a tail to still go off the end. And then what I'm going to basically do is bunch this, Nestle it into this piece. I'm just laying it on top for right now. Nestle it in and then bring that tail down and I'm just gonna play with it, but that's all I'm doing. The picks and stuff will really give it its shape, but right now I'm just gonna get this folded down 
and then we're going to really work it in and intertwine all the branches and then kind of blend this piece out. I'm going to, once again, make sure I like where that fold is and I'm gonna really, really crease down this garland. I still have a couple tails that are actually pretty long. So I'm going to take this one and I'm gonna connect this one tail here. I'll need another one. But that's another reason why making your wire or your, um, yeah, your wire extra long is really helpful because I can use it to tie this first piece on. It's not going to look perfect yet um, because there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. But you wanna just get it really layered. And now I'm gonna cut myself another piece of wire. This one's got to be long because I need it to go over the folded garland and also loop around the other. And I'm going to weave it through. I'm just gonna reach through and grab it. Great, and now I'm gonna to try to get it really close to each of the center, like stem, if you will. And I'm just gonna tie it tight and get it looped around. You're going to find as you play with this that you really, really might have to um, add another nail. Like if it starts to hang too much, I might have to find one of my wires and tap a back nail in and kind of pull it back, which I think I'm really going to have to do. So I'm gonna grab another finishing nail and I'm just gonna go into one of these creases here. And now also to help distribute some of the weight, I'm going to find some of my pine branches and I'm going to twist them together. The ones that have the metal inside that you can actually combine and it'll help pull up and lift the garland. So right now it doesn't look like much. I haven't fluffed it, I haven't started arranging it, and I haven't added any picks, but you can see the general shape starting to take place. That will all get fixed up and um, arranged. And now what I'm going to do is I'm literally gonna sit, put on an album, and I'm not gonna rush this. I think people try to rush it because it's not fun, and it isn't. But the time you take to fluff it will truly make a huge difference with how this ends up looking in the long run. So with just 20 minutes of fluffing, you can already see like how different the shape looks from when we first put it on. You can see how it just like flows really naturally. Um, oh, it's gonna be stunning when it's done. Now what I'm going to do is I have some other pine picks that I need to use to give it some shape. Let me go ahead and show you what those look like. These are the pine picks that I'm going to be working with. They're the same ones I used in my mantle. What I'm going to do is start filtering all of these in like so and they're going to add all the volume and all the shape um, to the rest of the garland i'll use a few in here just so it feels really cohesive but really bulk it up in this section okay i have 18 of these pine picks i'm hoping that's enough um, and what i'm going to start doing is stepping back and looking at the shape of this really large section and i know i need to like build it up and like really add a lot of texture and dimension. So I'm just going to start tucking these in. I don't wire any of these in until I know they're exactly how I want it to be. So I just stick them all in first. And I don't have any rhyme or reason. I try to space them out um, visually when I'm looking at it. So like if I know that I've put two right here, I'm gonna try to fill one in the center section. And then I think one needs to go down here then to fill in that gap. I'll need to maneuver these a little bit. Some I'm going to put in way deeper than others. Like this one isn't in that deep. This one I'm gonna tuck really far up also just to give it a little bit of dimension. I also know that I'm gonna need 
to like start like a gradient of these so they're not as dense. Here I'll let them be really close together but I want them to be a little bit more spaced out as we go. So I'm going to be thoughtful around that. And now I am gonna go up in here and in this back section, I'm not gonna forget the back as well because I really do want this to feel really substantial. So like right here, I feel like it looks a little bare. So I am going to tuck one in this back. Already, like look how different that's starting to look. And then you'll notice like this one is looking really flat in this section. So I'm gonna just like even it out and make it look very different and more blended in just by pulling one of the other branches down and through. And that makes that look really different. Um, and just like a lot more of like a piece of the garland whether, rather than like picks that I've stuck in. I'm actually really happy with how that's looking. I wanna fill out this tail a little bit more and then I'm gonna space some going into this area. I have all of the green pine all tied together now and all wired in. You'll see it's really thin in this section here. And then as you go, those long needles get much bulkier. And then I even added some into the back. Um, and when I see it from this angle, like I'm definitely gonna be arranging and pulling some of these big fern pieces down. And now it's going to be about adding colors and picks. So I'm actually going to take you over to the mantle and just show you the picks that I'm going to be working with and a kind of how I'm going to arrange them. You're going to see that I'm going to make sure that I anchor some red throughout and I'm gonna try to keep the same number. So roughly one, two, three, four, five. I want five pieces arranged, five red pieces around there and then maybe two within the tail. And then I'm just gonna layer in some gold and some blue. And I'm really not particular about pick placement. <laughs> I think you can always move them. And I'm just going to disperse them. I would say work in odd numbers across your garland. So in that garland, I have seven red picks all together. I just think odd numbers seem to balance each other out a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to play with. and. Yeah, I'm just gonna tuck them in and then not really overthink it yet. I'll overthink it in a little bit, but just get them in place and then you can step back and start overthinking. Underthink and overthink. That's my strategy with picks. Just stick them in, then keep stepping back and moving them and making little tweaks. Underthink, then overthink. All right, I have wired in my red and my blue. I'm pretty happy with it currently, I might still move a couple things around, but once again, this is the underthink portion of all of this. This is where you're just trying to get some things in place, and then you'll really permanently wire them in once it all feels good. But right now, I think this is a good, good start. I'm not thrilled with how bunchy this red these couple red pieces look. So I might just spread those out a bit. Yeah, I like that already better. So still under thinking, but like working things out as I go. And now all I'm going to add are some gold branches and then these gold like urchin things. I think these are all from Michaels and just going to space those out throughout it as well, just like I have in the living room. All right, my friends, so here is the garland. Like I said, I'll start moving things around. I'll probably let it go for a little bit um, and then start coming back here and maybe just pulling different things to the front, um, moving a couple things here and there around. And then once I know I really am happy with all the placement, which I think could sometimes take a day or two. For the fireplace, it took about three days until I was completely happy with it. And then I'll wire all the picks permanently in, but I'm really, really, really happy with it. It feels really nice. Um, yeah, and I just love how like bold it is on this section. It just feels so lovely. 
I'm really happy with it. So you know my last vlog, um, I mentioned that I'm getting to know my neighbors more and um, I've really connected with one of them. Her name is Hillary. Like we walked for four miles and just laughed and talked and it's been lovely. Her and I were texting this morning and I said I made 15 treat bags but I'm so anxious about not having enough. So she just texted me, was like, go check your mailbox. I'm taking care of your anxiety. And she picked up a big bag of candy, 85 pieces, and she stuck it in my mailbox so I don't have to worry. Like, so sweet and so kind. Um, I'm so lucky. I'm so happy that uh, her and I are getting to know each other and becoming good friends. All right, friends, I am getting ready to run out because I started working on something last night and I need a few things for it. I'll show you in a second. I am wearing my doing all the things shirt. Um, I also launched all of my Vlogmas designs. There are four of them. I did them in both a black and white print so you can choose what color. I used threadless. All I control is the design, but I've heard that their shipping and returns have been great. Um, a lot of you have given really positive feedback, so that's all linked down below. Go check it out. I'm hoping that my Vlogmas stuff, because I, I even have to buy my own stuff, but I'm hoping that um, my stuff shows up today or tomorrow so I can show you guys soon. But let me show you what I'm working on. Every year I have this antique sled that I pull out. You guys saw me working on it yesterday and it's my hot cocoa station. So I have this new towel from Anthropology just hanging over it. That is from Target. These canisters I've had. These mugs I ordered a long time ago. I can't remember where they're from. This is one of those trees I picked up at Target yesterday. I have a candle here, but I'm not sold on it. I think I want like some sort of like arrangement. And then that will be filled with mini marshmallows and hot chocolate. And then I bought these faux whipped topping things to put on top of the mugs. Um, we'll see how I like them. I'm curious of what they'll look like, but I'm really excited about this. It looks a little different than last year, but I'm really happy with it. I was able to get some of the items I needed at Target. So I'm just going to now fill up my canisters. Like I said, I have these faux whipped toppings that will be on these two mugs. I'm really excited about those, but I think that looks really cute this year. I really like it, it's perfect. And then just with everything, I think I just wanna keep the coffee table pretty simple. So I, I'm actually really happy with that. I have all my new pillows coming. Hopefully soon they're a little bit back ordered, but yeah, happy, happy, happy. Also, so many of you guys ask about my Palo Santo burner. It is by the company St. Palo. I'll leave them linked. I absolutely love it. It takes a long time to ship. They're only out of London, um, but I'm, I love them so much. All right, I'm going to, I think, relax a little bit and enjoy the state of the house for the chaos that this week will bring. <laughs> um, I don't know where Steven went. Where'd Daddy go? Hey, where'd Daddy go? Oh, you're eating a Paul. Oy. I have thrown on comfortable clothes. I'm in like sweats, although I've been comfortable all day. Um, and I'm just gonna chill and rest and enjoy the day. I'll fill you in as things go. Um, yeah, it's gonna be low key Sunday, which I love. We were originally, well, I was originally going to make um, some Chinese food tonight. And then it's been such a lazy Sunday and so relaxing that Steven and I just decided to go ahead and order out. So that's what we did. But um, yeah, it's been so, so lazy today. Um, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot more to share with you friends. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog and I will end it the way I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time.